Hey everyone, so if this camera quality or picture looks different, it is because I am recording on my little Canon Power Shot uh, because I accidentally threw out the charging cord to my Sony Handycam. It's a long story. Anyway, um, and I realized it just as the garbage truck drove off with it, so I can't even do a dumpster dive and look for it. Anyway, so hopefully this will work. I've had a lot of requests to show you my Ingolat shadows in action. It took me a little while to figure out how to get them out of the pan so I could tell you which colors I'm using. Um, luckily, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. All you need is a magnet. This is from a um, magnetic dart game that my kids have. And when you have the shadow in the pan, you literally just ding. So there you go. Uh, unfortunately, this method does not work for the new Mac palette, so I'm still working on that. Okay, let's get to it. I've already put on my regular face makeup. Well, not regular. I went, um, let's see, I used the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in Rose Ivory, which of course I will list everything below, but just to also tell you, I pulled out my um, Illamasqua Hollow for contouring. I have no bronzer on. Um, blush is Narsin. What else do I have on? I already did my eyebrows with Anastasia Brow Wiz and Ash Blonde. It's time to do the brows. I think it's time to lighten them again. And I am wearing the new Maybelline. Um, they have terrible packaging, so you don't know what you're looking at. These new little tiny glosses that are ridiculously overpriced. They're $8.99. Um, oh, it's the Elixir. Color, color something. Seriously, look at that. Can you read that? I think not. It's the new elixir color something, like it's supposed to be like a balm and a pigmented lip stick lip gloss. I can tell you save your money, just get the regular ones. These are $8.99 at CVS and the longer normal size are like five something and way more pigmented and they don't smell funky. These smell really <sighs> unpleasant. Okay, primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden just to cancel out the redness and veininess. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's very early. And I haven't talked much yet, so I have no voice. So I'm going to start by defining my crease with this shade, uh, number 337. And we will see how that goes. And if I need a little darker, I can always, it comes out very light when you swatch it. So I just washed all my brushes yesterday, so they're all pretty and clean. I'm just using a tapered blending brush. Tap that in. And then just go right in the crease. I think this will be just fine. I like doing this step first. It kind of gives me a guideline of where to put all the other colors. Okay, this is just enough to define where my socket line is, which is all I really wanted to do. Then I have to say my favorite color of the bunch is this one, 397. It's a rosy, it's a pink, but I would say it's like a rose gold in that family. It's very shimmery. It reminds me a lot of Stila Kitten, but warmer. And I'm just going to use a flat brush. And I have to say my all time now favorite flat brush ever is the MAC 239. The substitutes don't do it justice. Just get the real one. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I just love, oh, I love this color. Love it. If you buy only one, buy this one. It's really very lovely. And I'm gonna take, the reason I love this brush so much is it's very flat. So you can really use it in the inner corner. You can run it under your eyes very easily. It's just a great brush. I'm going to deepen the outer corner with 342, which also looks like that. I don't know why I'm showing you the number. I'm using a MAC 217, which all the substitutes are just as good. And I'm just lightly stamping that and putting that in the outer corner.
same deal. I'm also gonna take a smaller pencil brush. This is from an Essence of Beauty set. It's like teeny tiny. And I'm just gonna run that under the eye. Now I'm just gonna add a little shimmer. I know there's, it's, there's a very divided group on this, whether you should use shimmer in your crease or not. I'm not really using it in my crease so much as my outer corner blending into my crease. I feel like since I laid down a matte shade first, it works. Maybe it won't work forever, or maybe you don't think it works, but I like it, and they're my eyes. So this is Inglot 402, and um, looks like that. Sort of a taupey brown. Well, no, it's it's a nice warm. It, it, it's brown. Reminds me a lot of Wet n Wild Nutty, actually. And again, I'm just pretty much going exactly where I went with the last shade. Now, my favorite part for those of us that always muddle through, if you buy anything at Walmart, get, it's a set of three brush, two or three brushes, they're double-ended. The brand is, I think Paris Presents, the, any markings have long worn off, but it's got a fluffy end and then a pointy end. And this is my favorite, I call it kind of like my magic eraser blending brush. It just fixes all your mistakes. And then I am taking number 330, which is my birthday. And it's very similar to Wet n Wild Brulee, but a little peachier, a little warmer, a little more opaque, I would say. And I'm just dusting that on the brow bone. Um, this is the finished look. Um, I can't honestly remember what I did when I wore it in my, I think it was my New York City experience. Uh, vlog, but the colors are all very similar. I think this is a little bit softer look, but they're just, I have to say, my experience with the Inglot shadows, they're easy to work with, they're easy to blend, I don't get a lot of fallout. I love the price. They're, like I said, each one of these little guys is six bucks, so you have, that's pretty hard to beat, and you get a lot of product in there. They have such an amazing range of shadows, um, way more than MAC, I would say, that I, the store setup is very similar, and if you're into bright colors, every color of the rainbow, every nuance of purple, green, but, I mean, you name it, they've got the color. So Inglot is definitely a brand I will be exploring more. Hopefully a uh, Macy's near me will start carrying it so I can play with it in person, but um, love the brand. So hope you enjoyed this. I apologize for the state of my hair. There'll be more on that in another video, and... Um, Hopefully, by the next time you see this, I will have ordered a new <laughs> camera cord so I can film on my regular camera. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.